This is how to find your crypto wallet address. Now, as you know, you have different crypto wallet addresses based on the blockchain and sometimes based on the asset that you're trying to send or receive. We've got some great videos that talk more about your crypto wallet addresses. You can start with this one above if you'd like to learn more. But for today, let's start by focusing on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So start by going to your main wallet screen. You can see that I already have Bitcoin and Ethereum in my wallet, but let's say I don't. I can go to receive. And usually you'll see at the top popular assets that you might like to receive. If you can't find those assets, you can always tap at the top on stable coins or different specific blockchains. Or here, I'm even just going to tap on search and I'm going to type in Bitcoin. I'm going to tap here to see my Bitcoin wallet address. And you can see a lot of information. This is the screen that shows everything about the Bitcoin in your wallet. If you have some, maybe you don't have any. So in this case, I can see the, the first few numbers and letters of my Bitcoin wallet address and the last few. To see the full uh, address, tap here to copy. I'll do that so you can see or tap on the four squares that look like a QR code to open detailed information showing your wallet address. You see, this is the QR code associated with my Bitcoin wallet address. And this is the full wallet address below that starts in 3CX and ends in E7MW. You can also see that private transaction mode is activated. This means that every time I receive more Bitcoin, my wallet address changes in public, which gives me more privacy for receiving Bitcoin. This is a, a feature that anyone can use if you are using Zengo Pro, and you can also choose to turn it on or to turn it off. You can always receive Bitcoin to the previous addresses, even if this public facing address has changed. Now down here, I can choose to copy my wallet address. I can share my wallet address, or I can deposit Bitcoin directly from exchanges without having to stress about copying, sending a wallet address from another place. So that's Bitcoin. But as you know, Bitcoin has a different wallet address than other blockchains like Ethereum. So let's look for our Ethereum wallet address. I'm going to scroll down and I can see it here. In this case, I'm actually going to do something a little different. This is a hidden feature inside of Zengo. You see, I can slide Ethereum to the left and to the right. If I send it to the left, it means I'm going to send Ethereum, right? And it'll pop up an opportunity to send. I'm going to close that. If I slide it to the left, then it's an opportunity to receive and it immediately takes me to the main Ethereum wallet address where I can see here it starts in OXF and it ends in E9C. Like I said before, only copy your wallet address directly from this page. Never copy it from your history. We're starting to see scammers take advantage of people who are copying what they think is their wallet address from their history, but it's not. So again, only copy from there. Now, as you know, I have multiple wallets because I'm using Zengo Pro. I'm going to open a different wallet. Let's see, I'll go to my Web3 Minting Delegate wallet, which has much less assets on there just so you can see what the situation might be like for you. So here, let's say I want to find my USDT wallet address. I don't have any USDT in this wallet yet. So instead, I'm going to go to receive right here. And in this case, I think I'll tap on stable coins because it'll show me lots of different uh, stable coins that I can use. And one of the first is USDT, right? We have it on a number of different blockchains. In this case, I'm going to open USDT on Tron. And this is my USDT on Tron wallet address, right? You can see it starts in TQT, it ends in HQN. In this case, I'm going to tap on those four squares to, to view the full wallet address. And then this is what I would copy to share with somebody who wants to send me USDT on Tron. 